Hi, this is part 10 of Programming Blitz Basic for Beginners. Um, this is probably going to be the last part in this series. There's just a couple more things to add on to our game now, and then the rest of it is basically up to you, um, to decide what else you might want to add. There will be, as I've said before, some more tutorials on Blitz Basic, just dealing with individual uh, things you can do, such as like how to animate sprites, um, you know, more about file access, more about different variable types, um, dealing with text on the screen, how you can um, like animate your text on the screen, do whatever whatever else you you know like I think of covering. Obviously, feel free to put comments on uh, for the types of effects you might want to put in your game, and you're not sure how to do it. I can see if I can cover that. So for now, let's see if we can finish our basic Space Invaders game. So at the moment, the problem with this game is that when you shoot all the aliens, that's it. The game just carries on. There's no aliens on the screen. There's no level structure basically. So if we go to the part where we actually generate the aliens, we're actually going to move that to inside our main game loop. So I'm just going to grab it here, I'm just going to cut it. We've got a main game loop just under there, so why not key down? So at the very start of the loop, before we even start drawing the screen or anything, I'm just going to paste in the bit that generates the aliens. I'm just going to tab that in. In Blitz you can tab in a piece of code if you select all of it and then just press tab, it will just tab the whole block in so it's quite handy. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if num aliens equals zero then do that end if. So what it will do first thing when it goes through the loop it will check to see if there's no aliens left then generate aliens. So now we need to do it so it will increment the number, the num aliens variable, because we don't want it to be. Because at the moment it would just be zero. So if I was to run this, it would just generate aliens constantly and crash the computer and the video would stop. So if we look for the bit where it goes through the aliens here, where it updates them, all we have to do add a line at the start of here, to say num aliens equals num aliens plus one. That way, and if we set this to zero just before it counts, that way it'll go to zero, then it'll go through each alien, plusing one onto the number of aliens, which means by the time it gets to the start of the loop again, here, only if there are no aliens left will it generate more aliens, a whole new fleet of aliens. Okay? Uh, also, we should set num aliens to be zero here as well just before the actual code. Again it's not necessary to do this in Blitz but it's just good programming practice and it will um, it's good to do it for when you go into other languages where you do actually need to specify um, how many uh, what a variable is before you actually use it and that's declaring a variable. Blitz you don't need to do it so we're just defining it here but it's just good practice to get into so yeah. so set number of aliens have to start, which is zero, because they'll just generate their own. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is put in a level number. So we're going to put level to start on. Level equals zero. The reason I'm putting level zero is every time it generates a new set of aliens, it will increment the level number. Level equals level plus one. Okay, so it increments our level number. And now we want to display the level number on the screen. So put it here where we're drawing our text. So draw level number. I'm going to put it in the bottom middle of the screen, just a bit lower than where lives and score is, because they kind of touch the bottom of the ship at the moment, which I don't really want. So it's going to be in the middle of the screen, 320. Near the bottom, we'll put it at 440. In fact, we'll move, we'll move score and lives down as well, just to make it look neater. I'm going to put level, and then level. Again, I'm going to put comma one one, just to centre them, just to centre it on that. In fact, I won't put one on Y because that will put it off, slightly off from the lives and score. So I'm just going to put one one there, which means that it will centre it on the x-axis but not the Y, so I'll put a zero. In fact, I won't put anything, because Blitz will just put a zero anyway. So, if I run this, 
and I'll turn the sound up so you can see the still sound in the game. We have our level number at the bottom, we still have our high score at the top. So we're going to complete this level. This means I've all the aliens, more aliens appear, and we get straight into level 2. And again, we just keep going through each level at a time. So you're going to just carry on forever now until you die. Uh, that's kind of how space invaders anyway. And that's it, that's as far as I'm going to go on the Space Invaders game. So we cover how to draw sprites onto the screen, we cover an array to show... Um, sorry, we don't cover arrays, <laughs> that'll be a different tutorial in the future. We cover types and having a series of types for the aliens and how to cycle through them and draw each one on the screen. We cover double buffering, which is drawing to the back buffer, which is what your game does, and then flipping it around to the front. Uh, we control the time of the game using timers in Blitz. So, for instance, our game here is running at 30 frames a second, I think, where we set the timer at the start. Yeah, 30 frames a second. We cover loading images, we cover loading sound, we cover music. Um, yeah, we cover how to take keys from the keyboard. So we've covered all the basics really that you need for writing any kind of basic simple 2D game um, in the last 10 sessions. Obviously you can download this game, um, I'll also put a executable file of the game so you won't have to compile it in Blitz Basic if you don't have Blitz Basic yet and you just want to see what you can create with it. Uh, it's also worth googling for Blitz Basic or Blitz 3D to see what other people have done in Blitz as well. It's some very good professional looking uh, 3D games online as well as some also very good looking uh, 2D games. Uh, also worth visiting blitzbasic.com and looking in the forums there. There's a lot of users using Blitz 3D and Blitz Max to make a lot of games at the moment and they're also very very useful for helping you out with any coding problems you've got. I'll also help you out with any coding problems you've got uh, where I do know the answer for it and it's a quick and easy solution. Uh, obviously if I get hundreds of questions I'm just going to start batting people towards blitzbasic.com get you to join the forum and put a question there but where I can can I'll answer what I can. Okay, so it's bye for me for now on the tutorials. And next time you see me, it will be on the Coding with Blitz Basic series, which will just be s different video clips covering different things you can do in Blitz Basic. So I've got some ideas for some so far, and I'll be adding to that. I'll try and put a list online of what they're going to be covering. And that will be on my blog, which is coffeeinduced dot wordpress dot com and there's a link to that on the right hand side of this video. Okay, bye for now.